Hey everybody, uh, this is the first video I've made in a long time. I just wanted to um, say to everybody, thanks for all your well wishes and um, uh, everybody writing to me and asking me about my mom and everything, but uh, she's doing really well. She's um, cancer free. She went through all the uh, traditional treatments despite all my begging for her not to do that, but uh, she's cancer free. Uh, and she's just recovering now from the treatment so she's got a long way to go um, but she's well and um, I'm making this video today uh, in response to some some of the guys were asking me about the ignition uh, circuit that I used for the um, tractor and uh, this is the original um, scribble that I had and I enlarged it and pasted it together I'm going to try to go through this. I hope you guys can see this. So uh, here we go. All right, this is a traditional 555 timer circuit. Okay, we have our um, adjustments here. Okay, the variable resistors. And this is the coil. And uh, power comes in up here. Okay, 12 volts it goes to our first LED and uh, it's grounded after a resistor right here okay and that's just a red power LED and then power comes down to another LED and this one is goes through a resistor to the um, triggering part of the circuit which I use to trigger this LED when the coil fires so um, I also made this mod slight modification here. I ran the ground through a TIP 42G transistor so that I could um, kind of keep spikes away from the switch or the um, the reed switch. So uh, that's what I do. I ground the TIP 42 through the reed switch, and that's what actually activates the whole circuit um, over here. I used a RF, I'm sorry, an IRF 510 where the circuit actually calls for a 2N3055 transistor um, but you wouldn't use both of these, you would use one or the other. I just happened to use this because I had it. Uh, it's not as powerful, doesn't, uh, doesn't dissipate as much wattage as this does so you can use that. Either one is available through um, Radio Shack. All these parts are available through Radio Shack except for the coil. coil. The coil you can get at uh, Junkyard or at the local parts store. Any coil will do. Okay, so that's basically the circuit. Um, don't ground the circuit here where the original diagram shows you to ground it. Ground it through the transistor over here. Okay, through the collector. Um, if you ground it here, this, this won't work. So um, that's the basic circuit. I hope you guys can see it. You can blow it up if you need to. Uh, or I can email this to you if you guys uh, post uh, me a message and give me your email. Alright. Here's the original the original little um, box I made for it. And a uh, quick look inside. This is the wire that went to the coil. This is the wire to the reed switch and this was to the battery and it had a little I don't know if you can see it here but there's a little power switch there, the red LED, the white LED and the holes for the um, heat dissipation and I'm just going to give you a quick look inside of this so that's what the inside looks like, I don't know if you guys can see all that but the um, LEDs under there all spliced together, the switch and uh, some homemade heat sinks on the um, transistors. Okay. Again, I want to thank everybody for um, all your well wishes and uh, I am going to start uh, making some videos again and I uh, have a couple ideas. I decided to keep the um, not auction off the uh, 
PWM. I'm going to wind up keeping it. I have a couple of other ideas and some experiments I want to do. Um, I kind of lost my garage, my lab. Uh, I got kicked out when another member of the family moved in and took, to, took over the garage. So all my stuff is thrown into the corner. Um, um, waiting for a uh, new space or one of these days I'll just juggle the cars around and um, start some other experiments and stuff. So uh, I have some ideas. I'm going to start doing some other things and um, hope to make some videos shortly. Thanks again. Take care.